you know, my friend, you've been really polite. It's time for you now to stand here and I be polite enough for you to ask Clive any questions about Tottenham. You've shown okay. him this entire place. Sure. It's, Fantastic, yeah. It, it's brilliant. Would you say Tottenham have been brilliant this season in the past few years? Uh, are you asking me or asking you? You, 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 you. <laughs> you, you, you. Well, 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 I've been a fan since the 80s. Okay. Uh, um, so, I think by far the past three, four seasons, uh, in my memory, is the best that yep. we've had, right? Yeah. So, I, I really can't complain. Plus, I don't know what happened the NLD, uh, North London Derby uh, previously, but I think I don't pretend to know what's going on inside uh, Porter's head. And I think he knows, he, he has a plan. What do you think is his plan? Why why does he play, you know, line, the lineup that he played? He plays. He has. I think he's shown that he plays his teams to win certain games. He feels that it doesn't have to be the same team, or the team doesn't have to play the same system and the same uh, mm -hmm. tactics in all the games. Now he doesn't always get that right. I think we we, we see that and we saw that at the weekend. But it is a. Uh, it's still a work in progress. I yeah, still think right, he, right. he needs additions. We've talked about, um, you know, possible um, acquisitions in January, which is going to be important. Mm -hmm. But I think that, that the whole three or four years that you're talking about, since Poch has been there, it's been year on year, we've got better and we're getting better. Yeah, but yeah. there's still a lot to come and we need to get better as well to be at the very, at the very top and start winning. I think that's the most important thing now. And also not to lose any players, any key players. Exactly. That's the challenge, right? Yeah, and I, th I, do, I do think that that is something that we've got ourselves into a position now where, where players are not going to leave Spurs because they're going to better themselves somewhere else. They know where the club's going and the, mo the momentum that's being built as well. Yeah. So players are not going to better themselves going anywhere else. I don't see we're going to lose anyone. I hope not anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. <Yeah. laughs> And, but this is the question that I think I would always ask any Tottenham fan because it is a reality check. As much as you love your football club, you know sooner or later uh, uh, reality is going to hit you in the sure, face. Sure. And the question I've asked Clive before on the show, or the two fans prior to this as well, is how long can you go with this squad without winning something? Hmm. Well, uh, do you need uh, a drink or something? Eat <laughs> 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 one of those chilies <laughs> back there. The chilies, yeah. I mean, personally. Um, I'm a loyalist. I, 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 I call myself a loyalist. So, so I'm loyal to the club. I'm loyal to the whoever is on top. I mean, I, I, like I said, I don't pretend to know how he handles, he manages the, company, the club. But at a certain point, I think if down the road, I, I would say two or three years, uh, hopefully this year we'll break the duck. But if in two or three years we don't win anything, there'll be. Some, some problems, I, I suppose. I, I think the timing of the new stadium is important. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's not ready. He's got this season and he's got next season guaranteed for me to win something. After that, you're going to start... Now Asking it's dragging questions, along yeah. a bit. But I think once that new stadium comes, I do believe they're going to invest heavily for yeah. that season in the new stadium, just really get that hype going. And then that's going to be the time where, all right, pressure's on now. You've got yeah. you to start deliver. delivering. Yeah. I think we had a conversation in our WhatsApp group um, because it, some say that uh, we could even move in um, before the end of the season. <laughs> so the question was, is it good to you know straight away um, play in the new stadium or we should wait, we get a good off-season uh, to train there and to acclimatise ourselves in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a new stadium? I, well, I, what do you think? I, I should we just I go think, in straight away? Or? I think you're right. I think that um, I, the, the one... The one thing that I think the club have got wrong is that obviously the, the proposed plans to get it done within the season were, were unrealistic. It yeah, wasn't going to happen. Yeah. But this season, I think that they should now say, we'll not play until the beginning of next season in the new stadium. Get it finished. Everybody will be looking at this incredible new stadium that's been built sure. and saying, we've got to get in there. Look at it. This is fantastic. It just changed everybody's mindset and everybody's thinking towards the new stadium rather than, oh, here we go, another week. We're not in there this month. Exactly. Oh, it's not happening. And it, 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 it's all very negative. Yeah. And I think it would just give a positive angle to it. And then the start of next season, we're, we're up and running and we're, and we're in this fantastic new stadium. That's, that's, the only, that's the only way that I think, and I think the, the supporters would accept it. I think they'd be understanding that, yeah, uh, yeah, it's not done. It's not ready. But when it is, it's going to be, it's going to be up and running and we're going to use it in the right way. And I, and I think that with that, 
the advent of the new stadium, you're right, I think that they'll, it will give the finances generated, the, the, the attraction for players, whoever they are, wherever they are in the world, to come to London to play in this new stadium and play for Spurs, I think will be immense. And I think they'll and I think you'll see a lot of... But we've got to get that fourth place, right? We've got to get a Champions League, right? Yeah. I mean, that is critical. Yeah, yeah. There, there is. Would, it, would it be a disaster for them to go into the new stadium without Champions League football? Yeah, because be. the plan was to go in this year with Champions League football. Yeah, sure, That's right. Sure. To go in yeah. next year with no Champions League, how kind of set, what that, kind of setback uh, would that be? That, that would be massive. Yeah. It would be massive in, in the overall thinking and uh, the way the whole club is being geared. Yeah. For It's unthinkable, to yeah. be honest, because the finances... Um, and would be stretched, there's yeah. no doubt, without without the Champions League football. Well, so. I think maybe there needs to be a little bit of investment in January, just to make sure you get over the line. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. How, how close are you to the ma management? Do you, do you hear anything that we're going to spend some money at least? Any I, money? <laughs> I, I, I think I think there's no doubt that they, they will be in a position to do it in January. Okay, that's good. And that's good. There, there'll be, I, I think there'll be one or two signings because nice. That, as you say, yeah. they need to make sure yeah. that it just takes them that step into the top four. Who would you like to see at uh, Tottenham? <coughs> uh, Clive earlier said that he would like a Luka Modric to come back and maybe... Uh, ideally, ideally, ideally for me. Luka, Luka yeah, Modric. now yeah. or Luka like yeah. player? No, Luka, Luka, Luka himself. Luka, only one Modric, Luka. Yeah. Just with, uh, and I say it because of his experience, his knowledge now, having been a winner. Individually being a winner, you know, player in it, player in it. He carried the club, he well lifted parody, up. Yeah. And I think it would lift everybody. And it would lift the players. Did he well. love his time at yeah, Tottenham? He was fantastic. Yeah, he loved he loved the club. Yeah. Um, and I think if he was to come back to London, yeah. I, I don't see him going anywhere else than, than, uh, what, what, than Spurs. That would probably push Ericsson a little bit out, wouldn't it? Possibly. But Possibly. any other player? You need competition. So yeah. For me, uh, I think. Um, uh, right back, so we need, um, I think... <laughs> yeah. Not a fan of Aurier, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know not what many, happened not to Not many are at the moment. Yeah. Not many are. Yeah. He, he has his moments, I mean, he has his moments, but yeah. most of the time, he get, you know, the, the indecisiveness, uh, the decision-making is a bit off. Who's your favourite player? Um, it's between Gaza and Gary Lineker. Right, yeah. okay. So, I, because I, I grew up, my eldest brother... No, um, no, no. No, um, not not that not old because I only knew about um, Spurs when my brother, who was studying in London, came okay. back and brought me and bought me a videotape VHS yeah, of yeah. Spurs and a and a and a jacket. Oh, uh, sorry, and a shirt. Okay. okay. So that was when Chris Waddle and uh, yep. uh, Gary Lineker and Gaza. Yeah, my cousin so. Paul's playing then as well. Yep, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, cup yeah. final uh, team. Yeah. The cup final team. Yep, yep. Ninety-two. Who, who today? Who's your, who you like? Who do you today, think? actually, I, Current team. when I when I play myself, I like to um, control things. So right. I like people who control, who boss the middle. Uh -huh. So um, for now, I think it's um, um, Winks. Yeah, Harry's Winks. done very well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Harry. I think he has. Uh, maybe he's not the finished article yet, no, but I think I if he given the yeah. chance, opportunity, like like uh, Poch is giving him now, yeah. I think he would grow into possibly a, a, a Spurs captain. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. But, yeah, yeah. but the same yeah. thing, I, uh, I had the same uh, thinking of Dyer. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know what happened in the past mm. one or two seasons. I don't know. What do you think about I I don't think Eric's a good defender. So when he come, when he like on, at the weekend, when he comes back into into the central of three, and it and it unfortunately, and I think sometimes players are like this. When they make mistakes, it's costly. Yeah. Good players make mistakes, but it never never ends up in the back of the net. Yeah. If Eric makes a mistake, he ends up in the back of the net. And you think, oh my goodness, yeah, yeah. he's made a mistake and it's costly. Yeah. I, I think his best role is in front of the two centre halves, yeah. screening like there. Like in um, Chelsea game. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. That's his, that's his best role for me, but. No, I think um, I think Harry's got a big future. He's a he's a really good kid, really nice yeah. boy. Grounded. And, uh, yeah, very grounded. Yeah, yeah. He's good. And uh, what about Foyth? Uh, uh, Foyth. I think he's got a big future. Yeah, yeah I think that he's, he's 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 still making some strange decisions, but it's inexperienced. Sure, sure. Yeah. But um, is the pot is is the is Potter's, um, uh, trust in him? Yeah, I think he good will. good for him in yeah. development. Yeah, definitely. 
but sometimes you need that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you do. You, you do. need that, you know, that, just that bit of reassurance. Yeah, you made a mistake, but okay, learn from it. Yeah. And I think you will. You know what, my friend, is so unbelievable that the sun is out and it's completely Brilliant. coming it down. Amazing. Well, yeah. before we get drowned yeah. out by all the noise of the market and, <laughs> and, and the, the water coming down, Clive's got a <laughs> T-shirt to present to you for having you uh, us on there the show. Are. You on the show? Yeah. Man having on the streets the and the market. Yeah. Man on the street, the street market. Well, yeah. hey, Clive, you should be on TV, yeah. which you always thank are. You. Thank you for the tour, mate. Thank you thank very much. Absolute pleasure that to meet you. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Great Thank you, bro. All right, Thanks very much. Let's go get some more fruits. Yeah? Let's do it. Yeah.